Giddy. I am the Queen G22, and you are now in the Lioness Den, where I like to talk about Ninja Turtles gaming, geek stuff, and travel. So if any of that's your vibe, you're in the right spot. And today, we're gonna talk about Slam Dunk and Dawn. Now, not this one, even though he is one of my favorites. How many of you guys had this Slam Dunk and Dawn? I mean, it was during the Michael Jordan time. He's representing number 23, and he's absolutely beautiful one of my favorites and then as I got older I just had to have the giant slam Dunkin Don as well because I mean we love the giant turtles right and this guy for a Donatello fan and somewhat of a collector both of these guys were a must-have and then once I discovered later later as an adult there was a Walmart exclusive Duncan Donatello now this guy I am so happy to have in my collection I, I literally just got him a couple years ago I didn't know he existed as a child I'd love to have this guy complete in box and packaging but this Walmart exclusive slam Duncan Donatello complete in box is like three thousand five hundred dollars at the minimum I haven't checked in a while I'm pretty sure I saw some prices as much as four thousand dollars so um I'm happy with my loose figure and uh, this guy wasn't cheap either so um yeah I'm definitely a slam Duncan fan I really am so obviously when super seven announced that they were going to come out with the slam Dunkin Don. I did not freaking hesitate because I just think this guy just looks freaking amazing. We pre-ordered this guy and somebody correct me, but I'm pretty sure if I go back and check the receipts that the pre-order for this Super 7 Slam Dunkin Donatello was, I wanna say early 2022, maybe the end of 2021. We have been waiting for the Slam Dunkin Don for a while. Now here's the funny part. I put my pre-order in right when I saw it happen, right? And then it came across my email or on Instagram or wherever the hell. It came out over again. I forgot that I pre-ordered it. I did. So I put in another pre-order. So now I have two Slam Dunkin' Donatello's, which is uh, not a bad thing, right? Because some of y'all will be like, well, now you can take one out and then you can keep one in the box. Yes, we can. That's really cool. But then guess what? <sighs> I am going to be collaborating with Super 7. And uh, Super 7 sent me a Slam Dunkin' Donatello. Hello, shout out to Super 7. Thank you so, so much. So now your girl has three Slam Dunkin' Dons. Now I think that's a pretty good problem to have, right? It is. So with that said, let me just go ahead and put this out there right now. If you'd like a Slam Dunkin' Don and you don't have one, I will probably be doing two giveaways, one on Instagram and one on Patreon. The one on Patreon obviously is a smaller audience and the one on Instagram is a bigger audience. So if you're not following me on those, I suggest that you do that because at some point, once I get over the shock that I have three slam Dunkin Dons I will be giving them away to one of you all right so let's get into super seven slam Dunkin Donatello uh, shout out to all my Donatello fans how excited are we for this I also have punk rock Donatello on pre-order I'm waiting for him too but uh let's let's get into this guy right here he's absolutely beauty beautiful I cannot wait to get him out of his package and put him in my glass case where he will be sealed forever so first when we look at the the outside of the box we have our famous super seven where they completely enclose uh, the figure we've got our ninja turtle logo on the front we've got our teenage mutant ninja turtles logo on the back when we see this we are excited super excited and then at the bottom here slam duncan dawn so we already know what's cracking on the bottom at uh, the very bottom we've got super sevens logo and nickelodeon and a lot of gibberish that's um, unnecessary to read if you want to know what it is you should get your own and then up top we've got their ultimate print because uh, I believe this is wave nine of their uh, ultimate figure so we just take that off just like that there <sighs> yep and now we can see this beautiful Super 7 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Slam Dunkin Don. Now we look, just going straight off of first impression, boom. He looks amazing, doesn't he? Doesn't he look beautiful? He looks great. I, I'm noticing some things. So we've got two faces, which is nice. So we can head swap. We've got our Slam Dunkin Don with the tongue out. And then we've got our Donatello with our regular face. I'm going to keep him with his tongue out. I, I think it adds some character. And then we've got our basketball hoop, just like the original 
and a, a basketball, just like the original came with, except this basketball actually looks like a basketball compared to the original one. I think it was just like neon green or something like that. And then it looks like we also have a swap of hands, and of course, we can't have a Donatello without his bow. And it also looks we, like we got a backboard. You know what, let's just, um, how about we open it up and figure out what's inside the box. Yeah, let's do that. But before we do, as we continue to look at the box art, on the back, we do have some writing on the back, and it says, give you a preview, Slam Dunkin' Don, the hoop hammering hard shelled hero. And uh, I see no lies told, it's accurate. And then it says some more about him, and like I said, you can um, read your own, Google it, or do whatever. So, let's uh, free my guy <sighs> from his packaging. <sighs> so the top comes off easy peasy, and look at that, we can just slide him out. That's what she said. <laughs> Michael, please. 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 Okay, so now that we have the top off, it looks like we have some tape on the sides, on the back, and we know how much I love tape. That tape off, flip this over, get the other tape off. Now let's see if we can free the top part. We can't, okay, so the top part is now free, so it's not gonna slow us down. So let's get to Donatello. God, he's, um, he's beautiful. Hopefully there are no rubber bands. There absolutely are rubber bands, so just a second. All right, let's resume. So he only had the one band and it was across his stomach. And then we can pull his sexy little ass out of this packaging. Now look, look at this face. Can y'all see that face? You see that face? Isn't he beautiful? Isn't he perfect? Look at him. He looks awesome. This turtle looks like he's about to, to hoop it up, right? He can, he can do some moves. I love it. So, okay, just like our typical Super 7, we've got our regular points of articulation, the knees, the elbows, the wrists, the foot, the ankle. Look at these shoes. His shoes are freaking awesome. I love his little shoes. Pump ups, <laughs> they're perfect. He looks great. And so instead of number 23 on his jersey, we're gonna take it back to the old school and uh he's rocking number 84 which is awesome which is shout out to the ninja turtles which originated and started in 1984 so this is really good with a nice little tribute to the originals mirage studios kevin eastman and laird uh yeah, those guys are amazing. So, Peter Laird, I couldn't think of his first name. So yeah, so let's continue to check him out. Other than the 84, I love how the jersey is white. Uh, Cause remember how I showed you on the Walmart exclusive, the very special one, he's wearing the white jersey. So you kind of get that feel with this Donatello. He's got his tongue out, he looks great. He's pretty poseable and he looks awesome. Like look at this stance right here. I can put a ball right there and he's ready to slam dunk it. He looks amazing. So let's see what else he comes with we've got our hoop which is dope uh the hope what is that oh this is cool yeah so we got our hoop and let's see if i can just push this out we've got our basketball which is also nice and it's got a hole in the bottom of it so i'm assuming one of these change of hands is going to allow us to put the ball in his hand so that he can hold on to it longer and then in the top left we have some glasses so he can put on some goggles which is really cool so let's do that let's put on his little goggles he's got his little goggles on see if they flip over this way this might be better yeah so they barely you know stick on there let's see if they're they don't have any like holes on the sides so you can like stick it in his head to make sure that they don't fall but you can just kind of put them on there can't you or maybe not these goggles might not be the easiest but uh i think that's the best that i got for right now so now he's got his little goggles on now look at that face look at that face get in there there we go now you see that face with those goggles he looks good right yeah he does so i probably won't keep the goggles on because it did give me a little bit of a problem well actually since he's going to be in my glass case i guess i can right so no one's going to touch him but these don't stay on the easiest but they're there so we've got that and put that away over there and then we've got another swappable face look at that face and that face adorable look at that face so it looks good right yeah kind of your standard donatello type face so you can swap them out this face or the tongue like I said, I like the tongue. That is what she said. So uh, we're gonna keep it that way. And then we've got our bow staff. Now I normally have my Donatello's holding the bow staff in the glass case, but because he's in a hoop mode, probably not going to do that. But you do have a bow staff um, as every Donatello should come with. And I like this one, it's brown and it's got purple wrapping on it instead of your normal like tan or black, which is nice. Okay, so now let's look at the swappable hands. Okay, so the first hand that I took 
take out is the one where his fingers are kind of spread. And as you can see on the bottom, it does have the notch or yeah, the little no thing or whatever to put the basketball in so it will stay in there. Don't don't use that y'all, don't, don't do that. But yeah, that's a good ass grip on that ball right there. See that? <laughs> also, yeah, that could be one. Somebody go ahead and call that out. Uh, I am on fire. So we've got this swappable hand and then let's see what else we have. I can get it out of there. There we go. Then we've got one where he's pointing so like he could be like pointing at someone like I wish you would say something my guy which is really cool so I like that we've got the pointy hand and then we've got our standard Super 7 does not play when it comes to making sure their pieces stay intact. And then we have our standard hands with the closed grip so that he can hold on to the bow staff, which is nice. So that is pretty good for the top layer. Then we take this top layer off. Oh, very nice. On the bottom, we have our backboard. We have our backboard, which is really, really cool. And on the back, it's got these two little hoops. So I'm guessing that Donatello can also actually use this backboard as a shield if he wants to. And then the second piece, is a sewer top. Now, I was thinking, oh, well, you can pose Donatello on this thing, but hold on. I think this bow is going to go in here. Yeah, it is. Into the sewer thing. Basket hoop on top of that. Backboard on the back. Boom. So now uh, Donatello's got a little uh, hoop to go with him, which is really, really cool. So this is so awesome that I can display this in the glass case with Donatello as well. Nice job, Super 7. You guys did that I love this 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 is dope so those are the pieces so there you go a quick non techie non-specific uh, review of super 7 Donatello I think this guy is awesome let me know what you guys think about this wave uh, are you a fan of super 7 toys period or figures or whatever you want to call it and what do you think about this adorable slam Duncan Don and so before we go let's take a better look at slam I am Duncan Don. Right on, he looks great. I, like I said, I love everything about him. The articulation, the movement, heads, all type of elbows. This guy is posable for those of you that like pose. Me, in my glass case, my guys are just kind of like standing there. But uh, I don't know, maybe I'll have him, you know, doing the dunk or something like that. I don't know, I'm not sure. I'll figure it out and I will show you guys later. And that is going to do it for Slam Dunkin' Dawn. If you thought this video was entertaining in any kind of way, make sure you hit that like button so other people can see this video too. And I will see you guys on my next video. Hold on, you know you can't leave yet. We have to do our subscriber shout outs. So if you're new to my channel, I like to play a game with my viewers and it's called That's What She Said. And it's because I adore the show The Office so much that I implement Michael Scott's favorite saying, that's what she said in my content in every single video. But there are some times that I will make a etchy comment and I won't call it out as that's what she said. And if my viewers call it out and it's good enough, I'll give you a shout out in my next video. In order to be considered for a shout out, you have to do three things. You have to one, say what I said, two, timestamp it, and three, say that's what she said. Our first shout out goes to Mr. Cleveland Dog 3. Nice job, Mr. Cleveland. And this is what this person thought should have been a that's what she said. I tell a figure wise Leonardo on my box. So that's what she said. <laughs> I, I almost didn't want to call that one out because of Leonardo, but it did make me chuckle quite a bit. Well done, Mr. Cleveland. That was, that was a good one. Nice job. <laughs> Our next shout out goes to Mega P12M3. Nice job, Mega. And this is what this person thought should have been. Uh, that's what she said. The way that his fingers move, it's easy to open up his hands and put in his little trusty tool. That's what she said. Excuse me? That's what she said. 
Nice job, right? So those were some pretty good ones and there were a few more, but I felt like those were the best ones that were called out in this video. I appreciate all of you guys for participating and now I'll see you guys on my next video. No.